Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss troubleshooting of electronic circuit. Suppose if you want to do any troubleshooting, then here in this video, we will share some steps to be followed if you want to do any troubleshooting. Let's begin this video. Why troubleshooting is required? Suppose if there is any circuit and it is creating any problem, then troubleshooting is a technique to find out the problem and to resolve it so that it will improve your circuit performance. Here you can read the some short information about the troubleshooting. Troubleshooting an electronic circuit involves identifying and diagnosing problems or malfunctions in the circuit. This process involves gathering the information about the circuit, checking the power supply whether uh, the power supply is in proper range or not and connections and other testing components isolating the area that is affecting the circuit many steps are involved in troubleshooting we will discuss everything in detail first step is identify the symptoms in this step you have to take circuit and identify the component that is creating the problem here you can read the definition about this Suppose in the circuit, if your IC is not working, just uh, check all the components, whichever the component is creating the issue, okay, you have to identify it. The first step in troubleshooting an electronic circuit is to identify the symptoms of the problem. This includes noting any unusual behavior or malfunctioning of the circuit as well as any visible damage to the circuit or its component. In this circuit, you can see the IC is uh, damaged. You can replace this IC. First point is to identify the symptoms. Second is gather information. Okay, you have to collect the information about the uh, schematic diagrams or any other diagrams so that you can easily troubleshoot this circuit. If you have any schematic diagram, you can analyze it. This circuit, this component is this one and this component is connected to this other side okay with the help of uh, schematic diagram you can uh, troubleshoot this circuit easily here you can read collect as much information as possible about this circuit including its schematic diagram component values and any other documents related documents you can collect this will help you to understand how circuit is supposed to work and where uh, start looking for the problem you can then start searching for the problem this is the second point now let's move to third point that is check the power supply power supply to your board whether it is within a range or not you have to check in this step you can read this one of the most common causes for circuit problem is faulty power supply if there is a high voltage then your circuit will get damaged so the power supply must be in within range check the voltage and current level set the power supply make sure they are within the specified range for the circuit now let's move to fourth point that is check the connection if there is any loose connections and you can check with the multimeter if there is any loose connection then just make it proper loose connection will create many problems like sparking and other problems you can read check the co connections in the circuit to make sure they are secure and properly made look for loose wires damaged connectors or other sign of faulty connection this is the fourth step you have to follow now let's move to fifth step that is check the components uh, in this step you have to check the components value whether the component value is correct at city specified in data sheet or schematic if there is a uh, difference then replace that component inspect all the components in the circuit looking for any visible damage or sign of wear check the values of registers capacitors and other passive components to make sure they are correct and within tolerance and next step is six that is test the circuit okay you can test a circuit with different devices like multi meter or any other test equipments to measure the various signals like voltage current 
and other signals and then you can note down the readings later you can compare those values in this step you have to test the circuit use a multimeter or testing equipment to measure the various signals and voltages in the circuit compare the reading to the expected values to identify any okay deviations or abnormalities if there is any uh, deviations then you can recheck or you can change the components now let's move to seventh step isolate the problem once you uh, identify the problem or any other area that is creating problem just isolate that part here you can read the complete definition once you identify the problem area in the circuit try to isolate the specified component or section of the circuit that is causing the issue this may involve disconnecting or reconnecting various parts of the circuit to narrow down the location of the problem and then let's move to eighth step that is replace or repair the faulty component once you find any comp uh, faulty component just replace it in this step if you identified a faulty component either replace it with new one or repair it if it is possible make sure to use component with the correct specifications and value okay now let's move to ninth step that is test the repair once you repair this circuit now it's time to test it okay you can test the circuit again with different uh, testing devices like multimeter oscilloscope any other devices you can use okay here you can read after replacing or repairing the faulty component test the circuit to make sure the problem is fixed now let's move to 10th point that is document the repair yeah this is very important if you document now in future if you face again issue then it will be very easy to analyze the problem and to identify any issue you can read the document and then you can easily find out the solution document the problem the step you took to troubleshoot and fix it what all steps you took to troubleshoot and to fix it just document it this will help you to troubleshoot other circuits okay any other similar problems in the future this is a 10 step you have to follow and this is the last thing that i want to share why troubleshooting of circuit is very important okay there are many things you will learn if you troubleshoot any circuit here you can read the two point first thing is it allows you to identify and fix the problems in the circuit which will improve the uh, performance of your circuit okay this is the first thing and second thing is it will help you to understand how the circuit will works so that in future you can uh, do any kind of similar work okay whether it is in job or any uh, project you are in any project if you troubleshoot any circuit then in future it will be easy for you to troubleshoot the similar circuits you will learn everything this knowledge can be used to improve the design of this circuit and make it more robust and level. Okay, I hope this video may help you all a lot. This was about troubleshooting of any circuit. Okay, you can say it as 10 steps to follow to troubleshoot any electronic circuit. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.